This is Thomas at Lift Journal Mouse. We're just going to do a quick demo on how to translate uh, some some strings inside Lift LMS. Um, take a quick example. We can look at um, translating, for example, the lesson buttons that say next lesson. Um, so I'm just going to show you a local installation of Lifter LMS. This is a very unattractive website, but it will get the job done. Um, if we're, for example, in this course, and we go continue, uh, and we want to change, let's just take this mark complete button. Um, if we want to change what that mark complete button says, we've uh, even if we're translating into English, say we want to just say complete rather than mark complete, we can use this loco translate plugin um, to easily translate English to English um, and take advantage of Lifter LMS's, I mean, I mean uh, WordPress's translation function. So if we just install this plugin, it'll give you a list of, and this takes a little while to load if you have a lot of themes or a lot of plugins installed, but it'll load a, a bunch of translation files that are available for you. Um, if we go all the way down and we find Lifter LMS, uh, we'll see I've got a couple couple translation files installed. These are actually come with Lister LMS itself, um, but but I'm just going to translate to English, so I'll just choose my locale. You can do this in any, any language. We're going to cover English here. Um, we'll click on English US and uh, give that a second to load up. Um, and this will just kind of save us time because in WordPress itself, you can do all this kind of stuff manually, and you can load translation files um, into your, your WordPress via a uh, .po and .mo file. Um, but what Logo Translator is going to do is it's going to give us an interface for translating that kind of stuff right in our WordPress administration panel. Uh, it's going to save us a bunch of time. So uh, once we get to this screen, these uh, this is a big list of all of the things that are translatable in Lifter LMS. I, last I checked, we're upwards of a thousand strings, I believe. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. Um, so if you if you want to just look through and say, you know what, I don't like some of our language uh, or some of Lifter LMS's language, you can look through all of these things and tra translate this to your heart's content. Um, for the purpose of this little demo, we're going to look at that Mark Complete button. So I'm going to, right here, you can just search for some stuff. So we're going to search for Mark Complete. Um, I'm going to click that. So source text. Right down here in this box, this is going to be our English translation. So for our purposes right here, we're going to say complete with an exclamation point because we're really excited about it. And you click the Save button. Um, this takes a moment. Um, it'll save, and my local machine is also a little bit slow today, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, once it saves, though, we'll be able to um, reload our front end, and we'll see that the translation happened. Oh, sorry, we're at 934 strings, not 1,000. Uh, so if we refresh this page, we'll see that it now just says complete with an exclamation point. Um, so there's tons of things. We get questions about this kind of thing all the time. Uh, if you wanted to say change from next lesson to next step is something that somebody asked me this morning, um, you could do that. You could do previous step, uh, next course, you know, all, all these different strings. So like I said, load up this Loco Translate plugin. It's free from WordPress.org. Um, and, uh, and you can just come into your, your translation area, where did I go? Um, and just search through all these strings and see what you want to translate, what you're not happy with. Um, so that's all. Thanks so much.